Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new video. This is a thread up DIY jewelry box. Five pounds of mystery jewelry. I can't wait to open it and share it with you. If you're new to my channel, my name's Lindsay. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and The Real Real. I normally post videos Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, but I do drop bonus uploads. So when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification for me. And if you enjoy tonight's video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. I will be offering jewelry for sale from the unboxing tonight. So if you see anything that you're interested in, please send me an email. My email will be right here on the screen. I would just need your mailing address if you've never bought from me before. And also your um, a screenshot of the item that you're interested in or a timestamp with a brief description and I will get you out a PayPal invoice. So um, let's go ahead and get this box open. And wow, I ordered this box all the way back on September 27th. And they do run $48 plus tax and $9.99 shipping. And you do get five pounds of jewelry. Here we are, everything is nice and tightly wrapped. Here is a first peek. So I am seeing some beaded um, jewelry and some statement necklaces, some large cuff bracelets, um, looks like a watch, and some loose beads in there. So definitely some craft. I'm not seeing anything too great um, just from the first impression, but hopefully there are some treasures hiding in here. So um, let's go ahead and get this open and take a look. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. I will either give you a price on the screen or tell you a price as we go along. There's um, could be some items that I need to do some research on off camera. So I do try to move fairly quickly, but if there's anything that you would like more information on in terms of a measurement or anything like that, you can leave a comment below or include that in your email. So it is um, wooden beads with a screw barrel clasp and it does have this gorgeous shell on it. Um, really, really pretty. And it is in very good condition. Nice weight to the shell. And everything looks good with the beads and the um, clasp. So on that one, we'll do $5. Very, very pretty for um, summer. Next up, we have a necklace here, and this one is Claire's. And it looks like we are missing one of the flowers, so that will be in craft for a dollar. Next, we have a little necklace here with um, a pig, and it looks like it is um, on like a bottle cap with a ball chain. So we'll just do a dollar on that one. I don't know if that's Peppa the pig, maybe. Um, so just a dollar on that piece. This is what I thought may have been a watch. Um, I don't know if this is like a choker because it's definitely too small for a belt, but it does say blessed on it. And um, just a faux leather, and it does show some wear. So um, we'll just do $2 on that, if anybody wants to do something with it. Um, but yeah, I guess it is like a choker necklace, I assume, or maybe some kind of wrap bracelet. So it's in okay condition, um, just some marks. It probably just needs a cleaning. Um, and the um, letters do kind of move around on it. So $2 on that. We have a um, bangle bracelet here. This one does show a lot of wear. No maker's mark, we'll just do a dollar on that. Um, this is kind of cool. It is a um, world map necklace. Um, it does show all of the continents. 
So that's really cool. Um, it does have a little knot in there that I will try to get out if anybody is interested in this piece. I do not see a maker's mark on it. And it is just silver tone. Um, so we will do $3 on that one. It's kind of a neat piece. And in good condition, um, just like I said, a little bit of a knot here that I will try to get that out um, if you're interested in it. So um, nice piece, $3. We have um, possibly an earring here that is broken. Um, they say girl power. Um, so that I will just put into craft, um, both of those for a dollar. We have another bangle bracelet here. Um, this one is in a little bit better condition than the other one, but does show some wear. It is black and then like a brass metal. So we'll just do $2 on that one. We have a orange statement necklace here. And this one does show quite a bit of wear on the chain. And I do not see a maker's mark. So that one will just go into craft. It also um, looks like it is missing a jump ring or an attachment there. So just craft on that piece for a dollar. Um, these are pretty. I don't know if these are real stones, but they are a little bit cold to the touch. They kind of look like a um, malachite almost. And I don't see a clasp on this one. It is just stones and then some clear spacer beads. It looks like that one is in good condition, a longer necklace. That is very pretty. I do love the um, green stones on there. Next, um, that's cute, a little rainbow with a cloud. It has almost like a hologram effect on it. This one is Claire's also. It looks like it is in good condition. Um, we'll do $2 on that one. There's the back of it, so good shape. This looks like an interesting piece. Um, wow, this is stamp 925. So it is very heavy. Um, it does also um, almost look like the malachite um, stones on it and a lot of silver, very weighty necklace. And let me see what the hallmark says on this one. Um, I think it is vintage. So I'm not really sure what else this says in addition to the 925. I'll try to zoom in a little bit there. It says like TH-31, and I'm not sure what's on top of that, but this is really cool. So it does have a push button clasp, and we are showing um, quite a bit of tarnish but really, really cool necklace. So I'm gonna have to do some research on this one and obviously test the metal, but if that is all sterling, that is a lot of silver. So beautiful piece, and um, these are like a faceted cut, um, malachite, I assume, stone. So very, very cool. So I'm excited to look into that piece. I will definitely either do an update at the end of the video or put some information on the screen about that piece. So I'm gonna start a separate pile for research. All right, so that is a great item. So next we have a faceted pendant here in black and a really thick gold chain. This one I do not see a maker's mark on, and it is showing some wear on the pendant, just a little bit of scratching and definitely some wear on the chain. Um, it is just gold tone. So 
So on this piece, um, we'll just do $2 on it. Um, still wearable, but does show some signs of wear. We have a dainty little ring here. This one is not magnetic. So this is just a gold tone ring. Really dainty with some clear rhinestones. And um, this one is coming in at a five and a half. So um, really small size, but it is a very thin band on it. So it might fit a little bit bigger than that, um, but very cute. Um, we'll just do $2 on that one. It does show um, some wear on the metal, but a nice stacking ring. We have a single earring. And I think this is all one piece here. It is a charm bracelet, faux pearls, with gold, gold tone metal. And I am showing uh, maybe some glue residue on this. Um, I don't see a maker's mark. It is a cool piece, but definitely shows wear. And I assume this is all gold tone. It's very lightweight. Um, so this one, because there, are, there is some discoloration on the ribbon, um, I'm just going to put into craft, um, but it is a nice piece. We have a loft necklace here, and um, this one looks like it has a little bit of discoloration on the clasp and on the chain, um, but it does have some really pretty faceted beads. Very neutral and um, pastel colors. So on this one, because there is some wear on the metal, we'll just do $3, um, but it is in decent shape. So loft, $3. Next, it looks like we have another type of shell. Um, that one looks like abalone. Um, and it is on a seed bead necklace. And there is a safety pin here, so let's see what's going on with that, if it belongs. And I don't think it did. So the clasp does work. It's a toggle clasp. Um, very cute. And I think this one is in good condition. Yeah, I don't really see why the safety pin was there. It looks like everything is intact. So um, we'll just do $3 on that one. It's really lightweight. We have a beaded necklace here. Um, these are just acrylic. It's very lightweight, chunky. Um, these have kind of like a crackle bead. And then there's red, a marble looking one, and faux turquoise. Toggle clasp. This one um, looks like it's in pretty good shape. We'll do $3 on that one. Some really fun colors on it. We've got a couple more rings here. So let's see about these. Neither are magnetic. These are both just gold tone. This one is like a braided band. And this one is a horseshoe, but it is missing a rhinestone. So the horseshoe one um, will go into craft. And that one is coming in at a seven. So just a dollar on that one. And the braided band is coming in at about six and three quarters. Um, we will just do $2 on that one. Very pretty. That one looks like it is in good condition. We have a stretch bracelet here with green acrylic beads. Um, definitely gives off a Brighton type of vibe. Um, very pretty. Um, stretch is good. We'll do $2 on that. We have this um, chain bracelet, um, mixed metal, and it looks like there is some wear on it. 
It is a lobster clasp. And this one, I think, had a marking on it. Let's take a look at that. Now it says 14K MGJ. So I don't know if that is a plated. It is not magnetic. So um, it just has some wear like right here. So I will have to do some research on that piece. Um, but it looks like it is very good quality. So I will see what I can find out about that and put some info on the screen. I'll add that to my research pile. Another earring there. And we have a braided um, gold chain here, gold tone. It does have a nice extender on it. Um, this one is in very good condition. Um, we will do $2 on that. Very nice. And we have another one here. This one is a thicker chain, so that would be cool to stack those. Um, again, has a extender on it. And um, we will do $3 on that one. It's a little bit more substantial of a piece, but those would look cool together. We have a ring here. This one shows a lot of tarnish. It is also, um, was probably a gold tone and then has a lot of wear to it. It is a size five and that will be in craft. We did have a little Eiffel Tower bracelet here, also from Claire's. It has an Eiffel Tower and then a heart charm in gold tone. Otherwise, the rest of it is in silver. Um, this one looks like it's in good condition. We'll do $2 on that. This is very pretty, um, White House Black Market. This is actually the same hang tag as the 15 piece mixed jewelry I just opened that I was not familiar with it. Um, this one does look um, like a liquid silver type of look and it has really nice station beads and then it comes down into a lariat with this um, tassel. So very, very pretty. And this one looks like it's in very good condition. I don't see any missing stones on the um, rhinestone there. Um, so we'll do $5 on that one. That's a nice item. We have another single earring. Ooh, and this is pretty. This is a faceted um, beaded necklace with silver and it has all these fun little charms on there. That looks like it could be a cupcake. And that is stamped 925. And the lock, so this one might be sterling. It is pulling up a little bit magnetic there. So maybe not. Um, so I will have to do some more research on this one but the cupcake on it does say 925. So that is interesting. It does have a toggle clasp and um, some really pretty um, purple beads with these charms. So um, I will look into this one and put some information on the screen, but um, a few of the items are stamped 925. So that is a really, really cool piece. So I will research that and give you guys some more info. And next up we have a rhinestone um, costume necklace. And this one is showing discoloration. And it's also, um, I guess it is supposed to be twisted like that. So it is um, very, very pretty clear rhinestones. 
and I think everything is present on it, but it is just showing some discoloration on the back. So this is a nice piece. Um, it is not marked and I believe it is just silver tone. So on this one, um, it is still wearable from the front. Um, I don't think you can really see a whole lot of the discoloration. Um, we will do $2 on that. It is absolutely stunning. So um, not bad. We have another stretch bracelet here. This has like the little lava stones and then maybe some hematite on it. And it looks like that one is in pretty good condition. So on that, we'll just do $2. We have another ring here, gold tone, and then it has little clear rhinestones all around it. It has gold tone as well. It is five and three quarters, just coming in right above a six. So on that one, we'll just do $2 also. Very dainty ring. So let's see what else we have in this wonderful box. I'm gonna go ahead and dump everything else out. Um, there's really not a whole lot left. It looks like a lot of more substantial pieces in here. So next we have this um, kind of cutout cuff bracelet. It's um, like a brass and gold tone. And I don't see a maker's mark on it, um, but it is in good condition. And it is pliable. Um, so we'll do $3 on that one. That is nice. Next, we have a beaded necklace and there's something broken. Um, not on this, but on the red one. Um, but there are some beads um, coming loose on the yellow one also. And this is not signed, so this is gonna go into craft, um, but it might be fun to repurpose with, especially these um, beads here. So that'll be a dollar. We have a stretch bracelet. And I don't think those are real stones. They're not cold to the touch, um, but it's got silver tone and some blue stones. And there's two different bracelets. The stretch seems all right on that. Um, I'll do $2 for both of them. We have another bangle bracelet here. I think we had another one just like this. Um, so that one will be in craft for a dollar. Looks like we have a couple memory wire um, type pieces here. This is wooden beads, dark wooden beads, memory wire. And I think everything's in okay condition on that one. Um, they are kind of on the wider side. So that's kind of pretty. Um, we'll do $2 on that one. And then this one is also a memory wire in a lighter wood bead. This is kind of a two-tone um, tan and then more of a beige. So um, we'll do $2 on that one as well. We have another bangle bracelet. This one has quite a bit of wear on the metal on the inside of the bracelet. Really pretty rhinestones. I'm just gonna put that one into craft. Does show quite a bit of wear. So that's a dollar. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Um, really pretty acrylic flowers. So are these earrings? Oh yeah, they're earrings. So let's see how they unclasp here. Um, these are actually really cute. I don't see a maker on them, but they are in really good condition. Um, we will do $3 on those. Very pretty floral. Got a lot of loose beads here and a loose rhinestone. 
those will all go into craft. And the silver bead looks like it came off of whatever this piece is here. There's a lot of hair in it and it's very tangled. I don't see a maker's mark on it. And it is all magnetic, so that's going right into the craft pile. We have a stretch bracelet again. Um, this one is like a purple and not the best stretch on this one. Um, so I'm just gonna do a dollar, but the beads are really pretty. We have a silver tone um, stretch bracelet. That one's just gonna go into craft. We have a watch and this is gold tone and then it has some acrylic chain um, links in it. And there is wear on the gold tone for sure. No maker's mark on this one, um, but a lot of wear on the band. So that one I'm just gonna put into craft. It does not work, um, but I will do a dollar on it if anybody is interested in that. But it's in pretty rough condition. We have a dainty chain necklace here that's tangled with another one. One of them is Banana Republic. So let's see if we can get that untangled. Unless it is a two layer necklace. So this Banana Republic necklace does show quite a bit of discoloration and wear, but it is pretty. It's a two-tone dainty necklace, but you will see some discoloration and everything on the chain. So um, on that one, we will just do a dollar if anybody's interested in that piece. We have another one of these um, bangle bracelets that'll be in craft. We have a disc earring gold tone. We have a long ball chain necklace. And it looks like this one is in good condition. It is all magnetic. Um, so on that one, we will just do $2. Another earring, loose beads. This is pretty. Let's see if we might have a tangle here though. Ooh, look at this, little dinosaur. That is fun. Um, I'm gonna put this aside and then come back to it um, at the end because it's tangled, so I need to work on that. We have another one of these kind of bottle cap necklaces. That one has a um, truck, a uh, lifted truck on it, maybe a Hot Wheel. So I think we did a dollar on the other one. We'll do a dollar on that. Um, this is stunning and it is J. Crew. Beautiful earring. Hopefully we get the match to that one. Another single earring. Um, I think I've gotten a necklace just like this before. This one does have a brand on it. And it is Love AJ. And it is a rose gold choker. Excellent condition on that. Um, that's a pretty pricey retail brand. Um, I will do a search on that and put a price on the screen. Um, but that one is in great condition. We have another ring here, um, really dainty. This one is adjustable, gold tone. So um, it looks like there is some wear on the gold tone. Right now it is sitting at a six. We'll just do a dollar on that one. The metal does show some discoloration. All right, we have another one of these um, silver tone ball chains. This one just had a little bit of a knot in it, but it's really long and thinner than the other one. Um, we'll just do $2 on that one as well. We have this bracelet here that's showing some discoloration. 
and I think it's just a bangle that's really misshapen. So that one I'm gonna put into craft. Ooh, very pretty ring here, but we are missing some rhinestones. I don't see a maker's mark on there. That one is just um, silver tone, it's gunmetal. And that one is sitting about a seven and a half, um, but we are missing quite a few stones. So that one will go into craft for a dollar. Um, we have another blue stretch bracelet. Um, this one we'll just do a dollar on. Lots of loose beads. And this is cool. It's a Coca Pelli um, charm. That could be a necklace pendant. That could possibly be sterling. So I will test that and put a price on the screen. Next, we have this silver tone. Oh, here's a single earring. That's really pretty. A rhinestone uh, star. And this one is really tangled, it looks like. So I'll move to that one to the side as well and then come back at the end um, with the tangles and we'll see what that is. Um, we have another bangle here. And this one also shows a lot of wear on it. So um, that one will be in craft as well. We have a little choker with a butterfly and it's on a faux suede cord. This one does show wear on the clasp and extender. And that is Claire's also, we'll do a dollar on that. This is a really cool necklace. Um, now there is a lot of chipping on the red paint that are on these beads, but they are really heavy. And that one has a chunk out of it. So very interesting piece. Um, I don't know if this is possibly an artisan made, but look at the little balls on the um, clasp there. So I will do a Google image search on that, but most likely that is gonna just be in craft because it's got some issues and it's very heavy, um, but an interesting piece. I mean, that's probably almost a pound of our weight right there. So for now I'm putting it into craft. If it is something else, I'll put that on the screen. Um, we've got another watch here. This one is gold tone and also has a lot of wear. And I'm not sure if there's a brand on that one or not. Um, and it's definitely looks like it's broken. So that one is craft. It's also not running. We have a tassel earring here that looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, we have this earring, which I think the other one is in one of my tangles that I will get to. So I guess it's supposed to go like this, yeah. So those are pretty. They might have a bit of color loss on them, but um, otherwise I think they're in pretty good condition. I will see if I can get the other one untangled and put a price on the screen for those. We've got another kind of charm here. This one um, is just a person. that um, the, is not magnetic, the um, hook is, but not the body. So I will do a quick test on that just to make sure it's not sterling and I will put a price on the screen. Let's see if we can get rid of some of these beads here. We might have a sterling ring here and that looks like possibly turquoise and then it has a swirl 
and we do have a mark on this, I believe. Definitely a lot of patina. Yes, and it's marked 925 REJ is what it's stamped inside. And this one is tiny. Um, it is a size five. So I am going to test that and I will put a price on the screen, but it is very pretty. Um, it's like a double layer on there. And it, I don't think it really has any movement to it. It kind of looks like it would, but I don't think it does. Um, you may be able to get it down to about a five and a half, but a really sweet ring. I like that one a lot. Very interesting uh, metal work on there. So I will test that and put a price on the screen and see if I can find anything about that maker. We have a bangle bracelet here, and this is kind of in the Cartier love bracelet um, design look but I don't see any maker's mark on that one. So I think it's just costume. It does show um, some color loss and scratching. Um, there's some wear on that. So um, on this one, we'll just do two bucks. Um, it probably has a little bit of wear left to it, but it does um, show some wear. Um, next, we have a bracelet, and this is pretty mixed metal, toggle clasp. And this one um, does show some color loss on the metal. Um, but I think it is in still in wearable condition. We'll do $2 on that bracelet. Um, it does have a nice weight to it. Just a little bit of wear on the gold tone. So $2 on that one. We have another ring here with a little stone, very dainty. This one is not marked. We had another earring here. I don't know if we got the match to that one. I'll come back to it. We have a shell bracelet, very pretty orange shells. And this one Looks to be pretty good. There might be a chip on that shell, um, but overall it looks pretty good. It's got a nice stretch to it. We'll do $3 on that piece. Very, very pretty orange. That actually would be kind of pretty with those earrings. Not the exact color, but you know, pretty. We have like a ear crawler. This one is marked. That is Sugar Fix. We'll see if we get a match to that. We have a ring here. I think this is just costume. And we're missing some of the faux pearls and it, it is adjustable. There is a mark. This one is Love, oops, sorry about that. This one is Love AJ also, but we are missing some of the pearls. So I'm gonna um, search on that one and see how it's comping and put some info on the screen. It is adjustable. Um, it's pretty adjustable. So um, it would probably fit best between a six and a seven. So there it is on the mandrel. Um, but other than the missing stones, it looks like it's in very good condition. The metal and everything is in good shape. So I will put a price on the screen, but it's probably only going to be a dollar or two on that. We have another ring here, very dainty. I don't see any markings on that one. It's also not magnetic. That one is just gold tone. That one is coming in just above a seven. So we will do $2 on that. 
that is really pretty with that round rhinestone on it. Another ring here. And this one I don't see any markings on. This is just a silver tone. Um, it has quite a bit of color loss. We're gonna put that one into craft. Um, just to give it a quick size, it is a seven. So seven craft for a dollar. Looks like we have another Claire's piece. We got a few Claire pieces in this box. Move to the side and get that untangled at the end. We have two more earrings here. These are rhinestones. So these match that necklace um, with the twist detail. And it looks like the earrings are in better condition. I'm not seeing any of that discoloration. And I think we have all the stones there, but I will check them out better if anybody is interested in these. So unfortunately, it looks like the clasp is broken um, on the earring. So I'm gonna just put those in a craft, um, but they could be a fun piece to repurpose with. We have another ring here. This one's really pretty with the blue stone. It is adjustable. I don't see a maker's mark on it, not magnetic. gold tone and that one is super adjustable um, this one is really pretty um, and in very good condition we'll do three dollars on that one I do love that blue rhinestone and next we have another ring here this one is broken um, so that will go into craft I don't see any maker on that and it is magnetic, so a dollar on that. Put our beads in there. We have another ring here, not magnetic. Gold tone. That one's coming in just above a six. We'll do a dollar on that. Very, very dainty. So a lot of rings you could stack together. We did not get a match to that J. Crew earring. That is such a bummer. Um, we do have a match to these star earrings, which were really pretty, rhinestones. Um, the backs do show just a little bit of wear. Um, but those are really pretty. And they are magnetic. So on these, um, we'll just do $2 on. So really cute. And this is such a bummer. Now this would be really fun if somebody wanted to repurpose it into like a little pin or something. Um, we'll just do $2 on it. Very cute, disappointing. We really didn't get many branded pieces. So let's move all of that aside, these loose beads. And we have this really substantial beaded necklace with a very interesting wood clasp. I've never seen one like that before. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, Multi-layer of these seed beads. And it looks like everything is in good condition. So on this one, we'll do $5. Very cool. Um, and that does have a little bit of weight to it. So another item that took up some of our weight in the box. We have this necklace, which was tangled. And um, I don't think this one had a maker's mark on it. It is a multi-layer necklace with um, gray and silver and some faceted clear beads. And a lobster clasp with an extender, no maker's mark. 
Um, but it looks like this one's in good shape. We'll do $3 on that. All right, so I got this on Tangle. These are these spike earrings. Um, they do show some wear, but I think they're really cool. So on these, we will do $3. And let's see if we can get this cool dinosaur necklace on Tangled. All right, so I got the dinosaur necklace on Tangled. It's a very long chain. Um, with an extender, the chain does show quite a bit of wear. And I don't know if the dino is kind of broken. His mouth is not really secure. Um, and we're definitely showing a lot of wear on the metal. So that one is going to go into craft, but he is really cool. So a dollar on him. And then we did have this beautiful stone necklace. I think that is a real stone. Um, there is quite a bit of wear on the chain, some discoloration. And it looks like the chain is actually broken, um, but that would be a cool stone to repurpose. So we'll do $2 on that. And our last items are over here and it is a really cute green sparkly elephant and this one looks like it's in decent condition we'll do two dollars on him he's cute and next we have this pearl necklace um, there is some peeling on the pearls and also wear on the chain so that one is going to go into craft And our last item up is this necklace. And um, it is a, I believe, faux pearl silver tone. And I'm not really sure what's all going on with this, but it's tangled and it's magnetic. Um, so I'm just going to put that into craft. If somebody wants it, they can untangle it and do something with it. Um, but it is just costume and I did not see a maker's mark. So let's go back through um, what we got in this box that is exciting. So the best piece, in my opinion, is this stunning malachite and sterling silver um, necklace and i did get some info um during my break on this that this is taxco Me taxco mexico signed so i'm going to put some information on the screen but i think this is a really really special piece um it has a lot of patina on it but um a really nice patina throughout very even and I think that is a great piece to add to a collection. I'm going to look into this Love AJ necklace, but that is a good brand. We had this Love AJ ring, um, but we were missing some pearls. We had this beautiful sterling and turquoise ring, which is really great. I'm gonna test that ring. I'm gonna test these two little charms. The one was the Coca Pelli. We have this, um, which I don't know if it's possibly gold, but there is a maker's mark on it. So I'm gonna put some info on the screen. So definitely a piece that might have some potential. And then last up was this cool necklace with the faceted purple rhinestones. And there were some charms on here that said 925. So I'm definitely going to Google image search that and test it and see if it's anything good. You tuning in, please let me know if there's anything you're interested in purchasing. Simply send me an email. I appreciate you watching. Let me know what your favorite piece was and what your thoughts are about the box. Um, I am planning to air this Monday, so I will see you back Thursday with a designer box video. I will see you then. I hope you have a great week. Bye.